Hello YouTube friends, welcome to the Red Parrot channel. I am your host Mary Ellen. This is an episode of Craft With Me where I am still working on my summer sampler which is turning into, for me, an epic adventure into summertime. So, uh, you will notice I have done a bit of a cleanup on aisle five, so very pleased with that. Um, sorted through, got some more fodder. And as a special treat for everyone, and this is one of the pages that we're gonna work on today, I found possibly my favorite picture of me as a kid. That's my dad, that is me, that is a fish. Um, we are at a cottage that we rented um, a lot, uh, like years and years and years in a row. So it was sort of the, the cottage, but there was it was rental, not, not property owned. Will you uh, take a look at that outfit? That is what I call the indisputable proof that my mom let me dress myself very, very early. I think she just sort of abandoned the fight and said, you know what, you dress yourself. This is proof that she has uh, done that. Look at those stripes. Look at the Charlie Brown sweater. That is absolutely amazing. And I am completely and totally immune to what I am wearing. I am so happy with what has transpired and I will tell you the story of what has happened. So um, I caught this fish. Um, it is a crummy photograph and so I had to do some um, uh, photoshopping using paintbrush to get rid of some of the um, terrible foxing that had happened. But um, thanks mom, the photograph is blurry enough that uh, you don't really notice. So we are going to have much fun with that. Um, what else have I got that is of importance? I gotta get the journal out. That's one of the things we've got to do. Uh, 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 uh. I feel like this is becoming... Oh yes, okay, so we've got this. Haven't made any progress on that yet. That's okay. Um, so what are the things that we wanted to do today? So that was one of them, for sure, for sure. And now that we have this out, um, so recall, recall this work where we had circles that overlap the page so we have two pieces. My friend Shell at uh, Shell's Creative Chaos did this using butterflies and there is nothing like having inspiration. I firmly believe that part of junk journaling and watching other people on YouTube do their thing allows you to do your thing in a way that is a yes and. Yes and is um, improvisational comedy where there is a, uh, a concept presented and you never reject it. You say yes and, and you build on it some way. So I did a bit of a yes and on her butterfly. And that is, I made a bit of a journal to it. It's, so it's a two page journal. So it might be that, does this one work? That one does not work. Where's the other one? Oh, yeah, no. So let's pretend. And so this is gonna be down like that. You get a butterfly, you flip the other side, and then you will get a butterfly. But I need to figure out where that goes. So placement is important. Um, I found some postcards. Uh, I found a ton of other paper. I found some scraps from um, what did I find them from? Cindy at Studio Lou. I think it was one of her earlier kits, 
her journal with me kits that she puts out and I've got some of those available to me. Most importantly, we want to do something with this and something with this and the, the $2.50 thrifting episode has yielded me two of these little fish. So, um, the two fifty would have covered just that for Pete's sake. It's bananas. So where do we want to put me? Where do we want to put me? Um, I'm running out of space here. What feels fishy? I guess that's a question. Oh, let's go to the back here. That feels kind of fishy. Will this fit? Yes, it will. I could make this a journal card. Well, it's too bad that I didn't leave that as a tuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's do that. Let us do that. So we can move this out of the way. And we need something that's a bit stronger. Do I have anything? Maybe this one will work. So this is 100. Oh, look at that. It's almost perfect. So my dad and I used to go fishing a lot. He loved fishing. He could not wait. He was... What do I want to say? He loved being outdoors, and I think that's probably where I get it from. Because, A, you get dragged out that way when you're a little kid. And then you learn to love it. So my dad did a lot of fishing. And there was a lot of tackle and so on and so forth. In this area, there are a lot of cottages. And they, you can see the lake there. There's uh, a lot of cottages. And so our cottage is here. Let's, let's do some, some uh, geography here for a minute. Um, okay, this is, this is not a good uh, water, but let's say that's, that's the water. The water needs to be a little bit bigger. Oh my stars, stop it, Mary Ellen. Doesn't matter. Our cottage, uh, there is going to be our cottage. This is a boathouse. And then this is a very rickety old wooden bridge that is very, very low to the ground. It is, it is, there is no sort of lift really to the bridge. It is just coming onto the bridge and then coming off the bridge. And this is really the, the narrows. And then there's another, um, cottage here then there is another cottage that's up here and then a couple more um, scattered so bridge is really one of the feature um, elements of the cottage area um, you can rent you could rent boats and so my dad would always get a get a boat and then I was thinking about this last night it's like I don't ever recall him getting up and going out but I always remember him coming back and it would be like eight o'clock in the morning. I guess I'm just getting up. Um, and I think I'm gonna keep that little bit of photographic evidence that it was a crummy picture. Um, but I always remember him coming back and you know having whatever success he did. And he didn't need a lot of success. We just needed, we, I never ate fish. Uh, but my mom and dad loved fish. And they would have a little bit of a fish dinner, and I would have something else, and that would be fine. So, um, I am an... Uh, I grew up an, un an only child. I was not, but I uh, effectively lived my life that way. And so I got a lot of opportunity in this very, very safe and um, free environment to 
literally faff around, and this is another um, reason why this is going in this journal, I have been faffing my entire life. Like, faffing. Just off on my own, doodling around, curious, interested, just, well, I wonder if we do that. I wonder what happens there. So I found somewhere in my uh, I just want to have a little bit of an edge there. Oh, it's a little bit crooked. That's okay. Oh, Gracie, what are you doing? Hi, how are you? I know, I know, baby girl. I'm telling a story. You can listen if you want. So, where was I? Uh, yeah, so faffing around. I have been doing this my whole life, and this is the the ultimate faff. Uh, I found some discarded, tied up um, fishing wire. And it was not knotted, really, but knotted enough that it wouldn't be able to go back to the reel. So the fisher person, I'm sure, pulled it off, cut it off. You know what? They don't have the time for it. Found that as a little treasure. And uh, what did I do that? And then, so I undid it, and then I figured, oh, well, I'll have a place to to put it to to wind up the thread, and I used a stick, and the stick was about this big, and it was maybe about that in the round, and I wound, 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 and my dad had a beautiful tackle box, and he had all kinds of different lures and so on and so forth, and he had this one really pretty but never used lure and it was silver it was uh, uh like a like a just a silver piece like that and then there was a little bit of a, like a flash of red plastic that's where the hook went or at least that's where the um the circle went and then there was a three prong hook at the bottom and so i put that on my uh, fishing line because I now had made myself a I'm going to have to do this a fishing pole so I did that and then I didn't need any bait because I had this fancy lure and then I and this by the end by the time I have all of this prepared it's around dinner time pre-dinner, dinner-ish. And I beetle my way off to the bridge. Boop, 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 boop. And it's not quite dinner yet, so there's still, you know, people coming in at the end of the day and so on and so forth. And the boathouse people, um, of course, at that time, everybody has an opinion on everything and never shy about sharing it. And... I was the subject of uh, much hilarity because there was no way that I was going to be able to catch anything with that on the bridge. And another sign of who I am as an individual, I did not let any of that deter me in the least. So I go out on the bridge and I undo. So this is the undoing that is happening. And it is a fair, you got to get it, you got to get the lure past the bridge to hit the water and then be in the water. So there is a lot of line that is now straight down. Even though it's just straight down, there's a lot going on. Should I do the corners? I don't think so. Maybe smalls. So. While my mom and dad are making their fish, and I'm off in a very safe environment, faffing around, there is no evidence whatsoever that anything is going to happen. And I become the, uh, what do we call it? The dinner, the dinner entertainment, because everybody, all of the, um, 
the cottages have a view of the bridge and a view of me. And, you know, there's nothing like watching a kid just, you know, faff around and do whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then I catch something. I hook something and I don't know what it is, but there is a ton of fight in this, uh, whatever it is that I've caught. And I am used to reeling. I am, I have, I was familiar with doing this kind of fishing, but now all I have is this stick and my reeling is doing this. And there is a tremendous amount of fight in the fish and this is really hard. So everybody can tell that something has happened because of my physical behavior and what I am doing and so on and so forth. And it took me, my, my dad eventually came over, I think, because I was probably yelling, dad, I caught a fish, dad, I caught a fish, I caught a fish, help me. And he, he created an independent stand up for yourself, figure it out, tough kind of, uh, girl. And I became that as a woman as well. I am, um, I did unconventional things in my life. Uh, that might also be because of my mom. Anyways, he let me do it. He said, no, I'm here if something happens, but you're going to have to figure out how to do this yourself. And so, um, and so I eventually, and you can see there is line so I am just, at some point, I stop the curling and then I just pull up a fish and I land this fish. And it is clearly uh, far beyond the 12 inch um, minimum that we had. I don't know if that was a rule at the time or not. And I landed it. And unbeknownst to me, all of the other people who were, have been watching this whole play started applauding. So I got a standing ovation for landing this fish in this kind of outfit. And this is summer to me. This is everything that summer is. That's why this is going in that book. And I am finally, I am very happy that I finally get an opportunity to make this picture be in some other form other than what I have and have it fixed up a bit and have the story uh, live. So that's the story of me and the fish. And I think we're going to do that. And what do we want to do for a pocket? We need something that's bluish. Oh, I wonder if I could use a postcard. I only know that there's so many postcards that I have. That would be fun blue. Oh, this is upside down. That might be better. It's Nova Scotia, but there we are. Goodness. This is hilarious. So this is somebody who probably works there, sent a postcard to her work. It's the accounting department. It's been beautiful. It's been beautiful vacation weather for us, sunny and warm. People living at this end of Nova Scotia would love some rain. Lots of scrumptious seafood. See you soon, K. That might be the best uh, blue. <clears throat> and this is another memory that I have of what it is like to be in this in summer. And that's all those little motels. Yeah, no, I think that's the one. I think that's the one. Now, what do I want? Yeah, 
I just thought I want that. It's like the perfect even uh, trim that off. Mm -mm, where'd I put it? Here we are. Trim this off and you even get the other side of the the water, which is really good. Oh, bridge, but that's okay. There, just like that. like that's the better option somehow even though it's got the chewed chewed end where'd the card go so I hope that story entertained you it certainly entertained me at the time and it is a like it's a fierce memory that I have I think there's moments in time where you are all of you, if you know what I mean. You you just are, I'm sure that's, there's a fancy name for self-actualization, I think, where you are everything that you can possibly be, all of you is there. That's a moment of self-actualization for me. And it is 100% what summer is. If I am having peak summer, that's what peak summer is. Where did the card go? Seriously. I have not moved. You have, you know where it is. There it is. Is that it? Did I put it in the postcards? Oh, this is so annoying. Yep, found it. Here. Yep. There was so much to explore there as well. There was sand dunes, and then there was the, um, the front was not the only place to access, access the water. So we could go for walks and go to the, what we called the back beach. It was just, one of the most perfect, perfect places. And because it was safe, it's like I was a free range kid. I was a free range kid even at home. Let's, let's be serious here. It was a dusk to, or dawn to dusk, it on your own. See what the world can give you. Stay to trouble. Don't die. Okay, that's gotta just pop over there. Oof. Um, looking outside, so weather, weather is nice, it's going to be nice and sunny today, 
terrible rain yesterday, but we got over it. A uh, little bit warmer than normal, but still within uh, range. Jays won a squeaker of a game last night. They won because the other the pitcher for the other team completely imploded. And I will take a win no matter how we get it. Another game tonight. So we're getting down to the... There. Not opposed. Not opposed. So now I have to find some place for this. Nope. 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 This might be fun. I forgot to put the fish on. That's the whole point. Well, not the whole point. The whole point was rescuing that photograph. I had that photograph lost for the longest time. I had nowhere, no idea where it was. And I was doing some, well, cleaning up on aisle five, as they say. And I found it and I rescued it and I put it out because A, it's a great picture, and B, I didn't want to spend another God knows how long trying to find it again. And I think I'm okay with it just putting that over the dots. There. Oops, over here. So yummy scrummy. So that comes out like that. And then on this side, that comes out like that. Okay, I still haven't done the gesso on that. Uh, what else did I have in mind? So one of the things, and I, oh yeah, I was gonna put that there. I wonder if this in the baseball. So this is also 100% summer. It is very white. So I have it here as uh, as much a reminder as anything. this from the butterfly. What did I want to do with that? Oh, the fish. Okay, let's focus here. Focus, focus. Where did I put it? Is it in front? Nope, it's the back. Yeah, no? Well, we all saw me put it in, so it's in here somewhere. There it is. That's gonna be hilarious. Okay. Let's see how that works. And I feel like I should do a little bit of scoring. So it's going to go about there. Let's 
So I'm scoring the paper to give the glue more opportunity to stick. There. There, it's good. Put that aside. One of the other things that I wanted to do was there is a small little fold-out card that's in there somewhere, and I thought this would be a nice way to do a tip-out. Three and a half? Sure, three and a half. I should find it because when I fold it, I want to make sure that it's the right size. While my fishy dries. stuff in here. Are we going to have to take it out? This is what happens when you're eating. This is what happens when you're eating. Put that down. These need to stay out because I need to stitch them. And I also need to do the, um, the, the dyeing, the cloth, the cloth dyeing. Oh yes, that's probably where it is. take that out because that would go great. So I have birch bark. I did some other things. So she is a double-sided tag. These are vegetable tags, which are also to me a summer thing. This to me is the start of the blue jay thing. I cut these out. Um, made a card. Okay, so we progress. Where'd the blue card go? Well, the struggle is real. all in one spot as opposed to hither and yon. There we are. Uh, what did I want to do with this? This is a blank. Put that out of the way. Oh yes, we're fine. Oh, it's the width. It's the width that we wanted. Oops. There. That should be about right. There. And me. Hi, sweetie pie. What are you doing? Hi. Are you saying Are you saying hello? Good morning to to Shell. Hey, Shell, your friend. I feel like Shell is your legal representation. Yeah, she always taking your side. Yeah. You like shell better than me, boo. Yes, you do. And then that should then fold over. 
and we will trim it whenever we get to where we need to do. Um, and we need, I'm going to jiggle and bang you. I'm very sorry. Here. Anything fish related. Well, not in that batch. some fun things. I did not do boating, like big boats, when I was a kid. I did little wooden rowboats. That was another thing my dad taught me how to do, was rowboat. I love my dad dearly. And there was always a lot of <laughs> yelling involved in his coaching methods. It's always quite startling. Oh, here's a nice stamp. Scrumble, scrumble, scrumble. It's this one. I know, sweetie pie. Oh, Northern Development. Oh, here's another schooner. Another butt. What's this? Oh, it's the queen. I still think she's the queen or the reigning monarch. That's what I want to say. I keep forgetting we have a king. Well, there's not much in there. What's in here? I know, baby girl. Yes. Oh, that's a century. That's a bridge. It's the um, friendship bridge between Canada and the United States. It's a centenary. How about this one? What is this? Boralita? I don't know what that is. Uh, do we have enough? I think we might have enough. Yeah, we got enough. Okay. Something to work with anyways. Crash bang. Crash bang. Ah. So, what do I want to do here? So this was for later. That was for another page. Schooner seems weird. But is the right colors. So on you go. On you go.
we are. There's that. That is not straight. There we are. That's a little straighter. There. Nice wee journaling card. That can be some journaling space, so I can probably give it that. There's got to be something small. Super small in here. Let go. Ah! Why do I always dump this in my lap? Because these are all very itty bitty. Oh, a map. A map's good. And this also might be fun. Bicycle. Here we are. Scoop that all up. Put it all back in the bag. Oh, we're getting down to our last little bits here. that and then I'm going to do that and then to sort of indicate that it is a place of journaling This is very wee. Not quite straight, but good enough. Don't know why I'm doing these dots, but they seem fun. And then this goes in here, but we need to do the stamp, need some stampy stamp stuff. And where's my black? Pardon the boarding house reach. I like that. And that goes in there. And then this is going to be a flippy flap somewhere. Maybe this neat little over there. I need to cut those out. Um, now there seems to be water somewhere. That would have been perfect. here. It's not big enough. <laughs> Oops. We 
are getting full. Look at that. Can't do that. Ooh. Can't do that. Go up. I feel like covering the frogs is sad. How about that? See if there's anything else. No, I kind of want more. That wouldn't be bad. It's heavy. Try all the things. Try all the things. So it's either that or that. I feel like this is probably a good choice. I saw, oh, I'm gonna sneeze, pardon me. Ooh. And the greens go together. Got a nice that. That flips out. Got more space, more space. And this is kind of watery. There. Yeah, that works. So I think, gosh, this is getting fat. It's such, I love this journal so much. I love this journal now. It turned into such a fun adventure. So, uh, yes, uh, I think I need to bid a fond farewell because uh, we're getting near the end of our time. As always, thank you so much for joining me. It is such a pleasure and so much fun to have somebody to talk to as I work through my summer sampler. Please like and subscribe for more episodes and uh, drop me a comment if you want to say this about that. And we will see you really soon. Bye now.